Hi guys, happy Friday. How's everybody feeling today? It's Friday guys, how's everyone feeling? Well, I'm super, super excited. I still have my hair, courtesy of my friend, um, Elena. So if anyone is um, living locally um, in the, is there, if anyone lives in the UK and is close to the Sandwell area and is looking to have your hair um, done, then we'll leave links in the video and in the video description. Um, and you can check out her website and see if there's anything that you like on there. Okay, guys, so today it's Friday. Um, first, I wanted to talk to you about updates for the business. So basically, just to remind you guys, we have the CV sessions. So if you need your CV creating um, or if you need your CV updating, then we can do that for you. If you are looking for an interview, interview preparation, then again, <clears throat> we can get you um, prepared for your interview. We've, I've done interview preparation, preparation session on Saturday and one of our students has gone for an interview on Monday. Um, she's done really, really well in the session. Um, she's really, really confident. So hopefully that's come across in the interview. She's just waiting now for um, second interview. So myself and Clinton, I've got our fingers crossed for her and hopefully um, it's good news for her. Um, again, um, so we've got the interview sessions. Um, and the CV sessions, we also have um, CV uh, career planning sessions. So if you are at a crossroad in your career and you are looking to um, to go from one job to another, but you're not sure how to make that transition, then myself or Clinton, we can do a session with you where we look at where you are now and where it is that you want to go and help you to um, make the necessary steps take the necessary steps, you'll leave with an action plan and you'll know exactly what you need to do. Okay then guys, so also as well, I wanted to talk to you about things that have been happening that have got me, myself and Clinton really excited in the business this week with some of our students. So first of all, I've mentioned that one of our students has gone for an interview. So we're just waiting for her to, um, fingers crossed, hopefully she comes back with a second interview there. <clears throat> Also, um, one of our students, uh, one of our Italian students, he's gone for a, um, he's done a speaking presentation um, in front, of, I think it's called a Toastmasters meeting. So he's done a speaking presentation. He's spoken English in front of an audience and he's done really, really well with that. And that happened on Monday. And basically, guys, that happened really, really quickly because um, we were having a session last week with myself and my Italian student. And he um, he was talking to me about a story. Now, it was like a metaphor. And he was telling me a story about animals. And he was telling me how animals were... Basically, he was talking about a hummingbird. And he was describing how the hummingbird um, and other animals um, saw the hummingbird and they worked together to solve a problem. And he was relating this to the the world of work, you know, when you're working in, in, a, in a, the work environment, it's important to work together as a team. And he was talking about how when you make slow, slow steps and you take daily steps, you take small steps and you work together that, you know, eventually the bigger, the, the solution to the problem is resolved because you've got more hands on deck. You've got more people that are working towards um, to working towards solving the problem with you. So he was talking about that um, and he was delivering it in, in a lovely way. And he was talking about this in the session with me. And as he was talking, he was suddenly getting inspired. And he said, wow, you know, I want to talk about, I want, I want to be able to deliver this speech um, in front of an audience. And I said, yeah, Roberto, you know, that would be really, really good. The next day he called um, an agency and they said, yeah, you know, we've got a spot available for you on Monday. Roberto was like, great. So Monday was the Monday I'd just gone. So he's actually, you know, we had a lesson last week where he got the idea, he got the inspiration. And with a few days later, he was up on stage and he was delivering his speech in English to an audience. And he's done fantastic and it feels amazing. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I think it's really, really lovely. And Roberto is now going to continue to, to do more of this because we know as well... <clears throat> that when we're learning to speak English or when we're trying to learn a language, it's important to speak and practice using the language as much as possible. So now this is something that my student is going to be doing on a regular basis. And I'm there to encourage him and support him every step of the way and also to cheer him on and congratulate him as he makes this, this progress um, within his uh, sort of speaking um, English. 
um, fantastic so I'm really happy about that also I wanted to share with you um, another student of mine who um, basically um, another student from Italy now we've been on a journey together myself and this student now we've been having lessons for about a year and um, she's moved from one city in in Italy she's moved from Milan big big city in in, um, in Italy she moved from Milan and she's moved to a smaller city Bologna she's brought a house with her partner she has a new job um, and recently she's been promoted um promoted within her role and it's all happened really quickly um and she's she's quite happy but she's very she's also dedicated to um practicing her english because throughout this this journey with my student we've been working together for about a year i said um she's had so many different changes within her life but she's still continued to commit to make her English lessons a priority in her life, whatever she has going on. She's always committed to every week we have lessons, more than once a week as well. But now she's recently been promoted to a manager. Um, she's So again, congratulations to her. She's been recently promoted, but she also finds as well that again, speaking English is her priority. What So what she's decided to do um, is she's decided to... Um, to have lessons now in her lunch break in her lunch break she has an hour for lunch and she's decided to commit to 30 minutes of her lunch break every day to have a lesson with myself and to practice her english now that's real good commitment guys and i love students like that i love students that want to learn that want to practice speaking english that want to speak english as much as possible because that's how we're going to get better that's how we're going to improve guys because we need to be speaking as much as possible like my other italian student who's going to start doing um um networking meetings and going to start um doing presentations to um audiences you know he's going to do this on a regular basis so he's only going to get more confident as he does this yeah and then also um, my other italian student as well who is now committing to having regular lessons in her lunch break you know so she'll spend 30 minutes of her lesson with me 30 minutes of her lunch break with myself and we'll have a lesson and then also the 30 minutes then she can have to to do what she needs to do okay guys so also as well i'd like to tell you about our webinar which is coming up in two weeks time so the date for that is tuesday the 21st and it's going to be an earlier time of 9 30 uk time okay so that's our new webinar we've started promoting that now um and that is um on um tuesday the 21st um so you should st start to see the promo for that then guys as well so um put that date in your diary also guys to finish off i'd like to talk about um mindset I like to talk about mindset and positive energy. Now, I am anybody that knows me knows that I am, you know, I'm very, very positive. I, I think, um, it's it's um, it's it's a nicer way to be being in a, in a positive state. And um, you know, people, anybody that knows me would also also agree with me that I'm quite a positive person. And also, as well, guys, what with positivity, we need the energy, we need good energy. So. I've had I've met a new a new person today um this morning I've met someone on a strategy session and they were talking to me about um a got well they they told me um obviously this person wants to learn English and they told me that they had they want to learn business English but they also want to prepare for their IELTS exam so anybody that is learning English or as a non-native would know that the IELTS exam is basically um, it's a qualification that you can take or an examination that you can take that will prove your level um, that will prove your level of efficiency. And sometimes people need this um, IELTS exam. They need a certain pass to get um, into college uh, or university or to travel abroad or for certain jobs. OK, so it's a qualification that they can take. OK, as a non native English speaker. OK, so this person said, you know, I want to take my IELTS exam. And I said, you know, when when would you like to take it? And he said he doesn't know. So this is the thing as well, guys, when we have a goal, we need to set the goal. OK, so I said, how long would you like to to? Uh, when would you like to achieve this goal by? Do you when would you like to achieve this goal by? He said he doesn't know. I said, OK, six months let's give yourself six months so when we are looking at um looking at goals when we're looking at planning goals 
we need to make our goals realistic so we need to not put too much pressure on ourselves because it's not going to feel good we're not going to give ourselves the right energy so we need to be realistic six months is a good amount of time for this student to put in in enough work to make sure that he's ready in 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 that time to take his exam so six months from now march 2022 so we've set the goal so he's come to me guys remember he didn't he just had it in his head that he wanted to do arts exam okay so now he's told me he shared with me that he wants to do his, his arts exam so now we've set a goal okay six months from now march 2022 you will have taken your ielts exam okay so now we, we it's we can set a goal it's okay to set a goal guys but we're never going to achieve the goal without having the right mindset and the right energy we need to have a positive mindset we can't just set the goal and say yes i'm going to achieve my i'm going to achieve my outcome i'm going to achieve my goal in march 2022 and just expect it to happen it's not going to we need to put the right mindset the right energy behind our goal we need to work towards it we need to be taking the steps every day in order to achieve our goal we need to see ourselves march 2022 we need to see ourselves with that qualification yes i have achieved it how is it going to feel for you when you do achieve that goal how these are the things that we need to think about guys a positive mindset positive energy around anything that we're doing around goal setting and that's going to help us achieve our goal it's going to give us the right energy the right mindset it's going to keep us in the right frame of mind in order to get that goal achieved okay guys that's all for now thank you very much happy friday Bye bye